42 week update. Ho ho. Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, the all nooch father, the all knowing, the here today and here tomorrow and here the day after and forevermore. Nooch too good. Here on week 42. We are 42 weeks in, just 10 weeks shy of farming Jabba the Hutt free to play. It's 10 weeks shy of a year. And we're gonna, lot, gonna get a lot done today. We're gonna Relic Skiff Guard Lando. I got some fun mixed in there as well. We'll do something a little bit fun. And I thought I'd just go through my daily activities. Just kind of, you know, haven't done that in a while on the account just to show you what I'm doing every day right now um, as far as spending and watching crystals and everything else. Because crystal, uh, crystals are tight. Crystals are tight at the moment. But let's let's do this first. Let's get Skiff Guard Lando relic here and let's take care of this right now. So I've got this last piece here. And by the way, I got a video coming out tomorrow. I actually used Conquest currency to buy these pieces because uh, right now in the game, uh, early in the game, I just, anyway, I'll have a video on, out on it tomorrow, spending Conquest energy for new players. So you'll see that soon. So I need nine more of these. I can farm them with my with my energy, so I'm gonna go do that, and let's see how many I can get there. So I got 11 here. Let's go to six. Yes. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, I got extra energy to grab, and I didn't pick it up. Let's get that energy here. Hold on a second. Like I said, we're gonna see some some daily type of activity today. I just kind of wanted to show you here. All right, back to Skiff Guard Lando, um, and then I'll show you. Also, I'm, I'm really close to 3PO being finished, but we're not quite there yet. If I can get him four more of these, let's see. Let's just do the 10. Three more. Okay, now I need four, and I can get four from right there, from my perfect. That way I don't have to spend my get one currency. I'm done right there with the shard shop, and boom, Skiff Guard Lando is relic. That was a big one. I think that was 300 or 350 Kyrotex. I don't remember account. I think it's 300. My next big Kyrotech problem to overcome is Kersantan, so I don't think I'll have a new relic character for next week. I'm trying to do the hard stuff first. I want to get all the hard stuff knocked out, which means I'll do Kersantan next week, which means I leave Greedo, Jawa, and Gamorrean Guard, Mob Enforcer, and Aurora -Ur on the shelf for now. Aurora, -Ur I continue to pick up shards, two here, two there with Bronzeums. I'm not even farming the guy right now. So I'm leaving those guys on the shelf for the moment. We're going to work on Kersantan, and I think I've got, I think I've got three to four hundred. I didn't look at it, but there's a lot of Kyrotex here, so this is going to be a couple weeks on, on Kersantan. It's going to take me some time to get him up to Relic levels. So, why am I saving... The, I, I, this, is, this is how I kind of do life, I guess. If I got hard stuff, I'd rather knock out the hard stuff up front. And then, if I can finish with the easy stuff, it just feels like I'm cruising to victory from there. And maybe I got it wrong. There might be some perfect, efficient way of doing it that I'm... I'm completely missing out on, but you know, it is what it is, and that's how I'm doing it. So, uh, on this one, 3PO, I've got some signal data to farm here, and I'm close. 60 is how many of these I need, and I've got now 53. And as far as spending energy, you guys can see there, 100 refresh. I'm doing at least one of these Cantina refreshes every day, but my crystal, I, I had saved up some crystals for a long time in the game. You saw I had like 2,000 crystals at some point a couple months ago. It's all gone. All the crystal uh, crystal goodwill, I guess, on this free-to-play account is absolutely gone. I get 50 sometimes in Fleet Arena, sometimes I don't. It's kind of a trade-off there. Depends on who's in my way, who I can climb over. Where's Fleet Arena? Right here. See, I'm sitting at 42 right now. These uh, Thrawn ships are really hard for me to beat. I generally am unable to beat Thrawn, so I'm looking for somebody that's not Thrawn up there, and I'm not finding it right now. It's all Thrawn. Oh, there we go. So that Leonidas, I'm not going to, you guys see me do fleet battles, I'm not going to do it right now, and I'm several hours from my payout, but I'll probably try to take out somebody that's not Thrawn. I, can't, I just can't beat these Thrawn ships. As far as other stuff, I got some mod energy right now, so mod energy for me is just going in here, getting it ready. I've got a bunch, I see, I've only got 24, I worked on mods a little bit yesterday, I've only got 24 of these, so I'm going to go ahead and farm these. Let me show you my coolest mod. I've got it sitting, this is my favorite mod uh, out of everything. So uh, let's do it this way. Let's sort mods. Let's manage. Let's do every. Let's filter. Let's do everything except arrows because arrows are all 30 or 32. Let's filter and let's sort by speed. Let me show you my best mod. It's right there. 28 speed potency mod on Boosh Leia. Can I, can I pull this thing open a little bit bigger? 28 speed potency mod on Boosh Leia. 
when I get my Java team up and running, that that is a dangerous, nasty, nasty mod to have on Bushlight. It really, really is. It's just absolutely filthy, disgusting mods on, on Bushlight right there. So, I like that mod. <laughs> Can you tell I like the mod? So, I thought I'd show that to you. Let's have a little bit of fun before I go and spend some more energy. Let's scroll down here. I just noticed yesterday, I was looking through to see if I had any extra shards of characters that I could get in the shard shop. And all of a sudden, I have 737 shards of Droidica. And you can only see it here. 730, I have an extra 407 shards of Droidica. And how did I get that? Well, when you farm Cad Bane, and I, I, I forgot about this, when you farm the Zeta Du Blood, you also get two, you can get two shards of Droidica. So... I was getting a whole bunch of extra, and I never activated Dritica, so let's activate him today, and, or a, activate it today, and uh, we'll run off with super speed that you'll never see again to avoid the Dritica, and I'm going to have, four, let's see what 403 extra shards gets me over in the shard shop, because I think it's going to be substantial. I'm sure some of you are doing the math right now. I don't remember if it's 10 or 15. I think it's 10 shard shop currency per, I don't remember. Let's go see what we got in the shard shop now that we seven-starred this Dritica. Hold on. That gives me um, 6,315 minus... It's about 6,000. So, yeah, 15 per-ish. Is it 15 per? I don't know. 15, 6,000. 15 times 7. Yeah, it's about... It's, I guess 15 per. So, there's 407 shards. I said 403. 407 shards of Droidica to really pump up this... Uh, my shard shop. And, man, I need these. Uh, I'm going to need those eventually for more than Greedo. What I need to do next is I need to look up Kersantan's gear and actually Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker's gear. Those two are going to require probably 700 Kyrotex between them. Ugh. And I'm going to have Jedi Knight Luke done here. It's a couple weeks away. It's a couple weeks away. So maybe what I'll do, now that I'm saying it, I'm two weeks away from Kersantan anyway. So I think what I'll probably do instead of working on Kersantan, I'll, I'll go ahead and farm Kyrotex like a madman for the next couple weeks. I think I spent my regular energy tonight. Yep, I don't have any of that left. So I'm going to farm Kyrotex like crazy for the next couple of weeks. Um, and then when I get Jedi Knight Luke, hopefully I'll be ready to take him to Relic right away. Although I don't think I will be. It's going to be... I need a lot of Kyrotex for this. So so the Kyrotex are what's holding me back right now on Kersantan and then Jedi Knight Luke eventually. And then I need 100 Kyrotex each for Greedo, Jawa, Gamorrean Guard, Mob Enforcer, and Aurora Wars. So we're looking at like... 700 we're looking at like 1200 kyrotex i still need and if i'm getting like 100 to 150 a week that's like 12 weeks that's like maybe maybe 10 weeks maybe i'm at 42 weeks right now and let's take a look at the uh the update here let me pull up that 42 week update so i'm at 42 weeks right now you can see up there at the top we run like 3 p.m oh my, my finger will go above the camera um, we relic 3PO, 2PO, and then last week Boba Fett was complete. We relic Aura Singh, and then this week relic Skifgard. Week 42. Uh, relic Skifgard Lando, so we did that this week. We've got a lot of work to do left here, and I just, I think we're probably likely to be starting tickets around the 52, 53 week mark, but not ready to unlock Jabba at the 52, 53 week mark. And I will tell you guys, I always say this, I think you guys can do it a little bit faster than I did. I I, I have missed payouts, I've missed a lot of stuff, just managing three accounts, living life. If you're really super duper dedicated to this, you can probably do it a little bit quicker than I can. But I've still got to do Kersantan, Gamorrean Guard, Greedo, we saw those guys. Skip Guard, Lando needs some relics. Jedi Knight Luke will be in a couple weeks, whenever the Executrix event comes around again, we'll do Jedi Knight Luke. Jawa, Aurora. C-3PO is a couple relic levels. I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, Boosh, Leia, Aura, Singh, Fennec, Shan, and Mob Enforcer. Boosh, Leia, Aura, Singh, Fennec, Shan are all just relic levels to take care of. So, let's go look back at these characters. Where am I on 3PO getting him completed to relic 7? Well, I'm sitting right here at relic 5. I've got most of the pieces. I think I actually... Did I farm this in the video? Or did I... I don't remember. No, I can't keep track of what I'm doing. I think I, I, think I did that. Yeah, that's where I started, right? Um... I need 37 of these. I need 20 for this level, 20 for the next level of Electrium Conductors. And then to go to Relic 7, where is... Okay, so Boba Fett's there. So to go to Relic 7, 
I'm going to need 20 Zin Biddles too. So I need 60 pieces, which is going to be difficult to farm. So I've got a lot of difficult farming ahead of me. Because if you look at those pieces in the scavenger shop, because I'm not going to be able to get them all from Get3 Currency. I'm going to get a few of them, but I don't get that much Get3 Currency. If I look at my um, Electrum Conductors, and it's going to be these pieces right here. And I think I need these for Gamorian Guard, but he's down the road. So if I did all of these right now, that gets me only nine. So I actually need to farm these pieces. And then as far as Zin Biddles, I need to get... Man, it's... It's going to be a tough road ahead to get all these relic levels in these characters. And I think actually between Kyrotex and those relic levels. Well, I don't know if I have to say actually. It's a tough road. It's a tough road ahead. 3 peel will be my next relic 7. Although what I may do again. What I may do. I need to have uh, Jedi Knight Luke at relic 7. Maybe I'll farm all the pieces here on 3 PO's kit. Although I kind of want to have a relic. Uh, 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 something to show you next week. I don't know. Uh, next week. I don't think we'll have Jedi Knight Luke next week. I don't know what I'll have to show you next week if I don't have a relic or something. It'll be the first time in a long time I haven't had any, anything to accomplish. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out as the week goes forward. So, that's where we are in the account. I need to spend some fleet energy, too. So, with that, I'm grabbing, like, these right now. Just grab some of those. You see, I need them for, not only for my Zin Biddles, but I need them for my characters. I'll have to go look up Jedi Knight Luke's gear and see if i can start farming that gear along with the all the kyrotex i need so that's where we are in the account and one more note here as far as uh conquest i have not been really i'm not grinding conquest i go in there with my cls team however much i can get done we'll do a level here however much i can get done with cls i get done and then i bow out because my other team's just seeing he's at 79 percent right now when i use vader it just doesn't seem to work my bounty hunters really don't work either Nothing else really that I have really works in Conquest except for my CLS team here in Normal Conquest. So I go in there, I do my CLS stuff, and when CLS is done, I'm done because nothing else is pulling off anything here. Let's go ahead and get in on... We can go through a bunch. now. Nah, let's just go through Piet right now. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm just going to do this. Get rid of that taunt. Then we got, there's no run up yet. Thanks for the AoE. Now he's going to hit Dark Trooper and get him down. This is going to be pretty simple. I probably could auto this, really. They're not really doing that much damage. Should have AoE there. Auto time. This should work fine. They're really not doing much damage at all. And I know with a damage penalty from Gideon, not them. Maybe Dark Trooper would have been a cleaner way to do this, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Because he has so little health and protection, I could have wiped through. I probably would already be taking them out. Now I'm not getting any turns. Yikes, let's take the auto off. I'm not getting any turns. Wow. Okay, now we're down to one stack of it over there. Okay, Dark Trooper down. Okay, I think we got it now. I'm going to keep managing this, though, because I wasn't getting... I got, like, no turns there for about 84 minutes. Anywho, there you go. That's how I'm doing Conquest. We're, we're just going through a CLS... I could probably do one more level of CLS today, and I, I don't know if I'll get much further than Tier 2 here. In fact, I won't. I just, I, I don't have the time to really invest in this on a, on a on a significant basis. Not even really checking these so much. So, just doing CLS, and I back out, and that's where we are in the account. That's where we are at 42 weeks, everybody. Hope this helps you. Let me know where your account is sitting today. Am I, am I, I always ask, am I missing something? I don't think I am. I think we're going along smooth. I'm sure there are maybe a couple of efficiencies I could have found in there along the way, but... It is what it is. You can't do everything perfect, but you can have a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. Uh, I know I am. I'm happy to see you every day. I'll talk to you soon. Always remember, Nooch too good.